All right, today I'm gonna give you a review of the Lyman Universal Case Trimmer. We just got it in the mail today, so I'm gonna open up the box. Whoa, eh, got messed up there. All right, get the box out of the way. Got the case trimmer still in its box. I'm gonna open it up. Got the manual for it. Bag of parts. Uh, I'm gonna open up this bag of parts and just set them in the holders for them. And then these bits will allow you to trim any size case that you need. And also, you got your wrench to tighten your lock ring. This will set your depth. Now we got this 3030 case. It's brand new. This is what all my case, what I want all my cases to be at the proper length to. So I'm going to set it in the shell holder. Make sure it's centered. Tighten it down. Oh, but I should probably get the proper sized bit for it. Just loosen, loosen the nut. Alright, almost got it. Alright, case isn't centered. Centered in. Alright, so now I'm going to set this in here. That's the depth I want at it. I'm going to take the lock ring, tighten it down. Hmm. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to tighten it down so that it doesn't move. Doesn't move now. Alright, so I'm going to take the case out. I'm going to get a different case. Different case different case and I'm gonna lube it up that's no, actually a little bit too much is with when you're lubing your cases you don't want to have a lot of lubricant on them you just want a little little thin layer now I deep primed it got my case I'm gonna wipe off the lubricant set it in Oh, dropped it. Alright, so I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to start trimming. I'm going to trim until there's no more of the shavings coming off. Loosen the case up. Now I can measure it. See what length it's at. Can't, hands are covered in lubricant. Yep, 
Yeah, it trimmed it to the right length. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit too short, but uh, never mind. All right, so I got the proper case. I'm gonna get my deburring tool. Deburr the inside. Deburr the outside. All right, so now it's all deburred. Deburred, ready for priming and reloading. Actually, that primer pocket's a little bit dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna clean out. Now it's a bit more clean. It's not much, but it's more than before. Okay, this case is done. Gonna get the next one. Just gonna do a few more cases without talking too much. He primed it. Wiped off the case. Now I'm gonna go over to the trimmer. Now on this case, there is a, a little little lip. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's on there. Now i got to deburr it to get rid of that lip. I'm going to trim it a little more. Alright, that one's done. Gonna get the next one. Deprime it. Wipe the lubricant off. Go to the case trimmer. Alright, so I tightened it down. You know what? The, it's not really trimming that much on them. Gonna adjust it a little bit. I'm gonna get the wrench that came with it. Loosen it up. And I'm going to tighten it down. Alright. It's trimmed. Going to get the other case. Okay, gonna deburr it. Alright, it's deburred. Just gonna redo the couple other cases. Now the reason why you want to deprime these is because if you look inside that shell holder, there's a little ball, 
and that'll fit inside your pr empty primer pocket and when it tightens down it'll help make a better fit. Low battery. Alright, trimming it. Okay, then these three cases are to the prop. See if they're the proper length. All right, they are. Okay. All right, so that that is the. Lyman Universal Case Trimmer. Right now I'm just going to give you a few views of it. Alright, that's the Lyman Universal Case Trimmer.